तो हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज गायत्री चैटर्जी एंड दिस विल बी गायत्री चैटर्जी स्पीक्स में भी हम डाल सकते थे पर आई डोंट नो इट्स बेसिकली मी व्लॉगिंग यू नो मी सो आई बिन सफरिंग फ्रॉम सी पी टी एस सी फॉर द लास्ट सेवन मंथ्स और विद इन दिस टाइम आई हैव made numerous discoveries but first of all i would ask for permission to wear my specs because mai practically anthi hu chashme ke bagair so agar mere muh se andha dhun na chahu to chashma pehen lo <laughs> namaste bhi nahi kar pa rahi hu kyunki ek haath mein selfie stick hai theek hai i'm sorry so yeah um I got this idea of vlogging about my CPTSD from my friend today. I've been thinking about it but I couldn't find a good way of putting it through because you know CPTSD can be really bad. Uh especially since it's a psychological disorder, CPTSD, the full form of CPTSD is complex post traumatic stress disorder. And well, the symptoms include breathlessness, बहुत सारे सिम्टम्स होते हैं इट वेरीज फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन बट यू नो सम सिम्टम्स हैव बीन ऑब्जर्व इज कॉमन अमंग इंडिविजुअल्स एंड येस यू माइट बी वंडरिंग वॉट दैट वाइट थिंग इज टेकिंग बियड माई हेड इट्स माई फेवरेट पर्सन जो ओके हैव अ लक um ye ulta dikh raha hoga so i'll read it out for you it basically says never reply when you're angry never make a promise when you're happy and never make a decision when you're sad so i think you can understand why this thing is here on my almira <laughs> because hum logo ke liye it's a little difficult for us to control our emotions and we get carried away very easily very very easily <sighs> sorry so um and i haven't applied much of makeup because uh, okay i was also avoiding this video because of this makeup thing because you know uh youtube pe agar normal video dalti hu to i get so many negative comments that it depresses me so um <laughs> my pet is here she is let's throw me around and so basically i was avoiding to show myself on youtube for the last few days because cptsd makes us tired weak and we don't have the strength to you know apply makeup do all that preparation for a video editing we we simply feel that all of it is useless all of it is useless we simply feel it's useless what's the use of living especially when we have anxiety attacks some of us have panic attacks some of us have anxiety attacks there is a very subtle difference between C, uh, cptsd and ptsd i know volume thoda kam ho gaya tha beech mein because i was feeling weak so i hope you can hear me uh, uh, the video might be a little shaky forgive me for that i am trying my best to not make it shaky oh my god it's not working well sorry Okay, I think this will be better. Yeah, you can see me better, right? Okay, चश्मा खोलना पड़ेगा आई थिंक रिफ्लेक्शन हो रहा है बहुत ज़्यादा Okay, so basically, uh, एक request है सबसे पहले किसी को बिना जाने उसके बारे में बिना खबर किए उसको condemn मत कीजिएगा जैसे कि आई हैड अपलोडेड फ्यू मंथ्स बैक अ वीडियो थ्री वीडियोस ऑफ मी सिंगिंग व्हेन आई वाज लिटरली बेड रिडन उससे पहले एंजाइटी अटैक हुआ था एंड 
सम पीपल टोल मी दैट अगर अच्छी नहीं दिख सकती तो वीडियो अपलोड क्यों कर रही हो देन मेक मी रियली हैप्पी बस एंड यू नो द रीजन बिहाइंड माई सी पी टी एस टी मोस्ट ऑफ माई फॉलोअर्स सब्सक्राइबर्स दे ऑल नो एंड आई एम सॉरी अगर my voice was going low my volume was down sorry for that it happens at times i forget that i'm not using a headphone or microphone i forget it so please bear with me so i was explaining okay i think i should have said this at first i'm just doing it extempo i always do extempo but you know this was literally unplanned okay um i thought of Okay, so let's give you an introduction to it on 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 this video. And in the next video, I'll tell you about the vlogging part of it. All right. Okay. So basically, CPTSD is the short form for complex post-traumatic stress disorder, and many people confuse it with PTSD, which is just post-traumatic stress disorder. Okay. How to explain the difference between CPTSD and PTSD is that PTSD may um a person suffers from constant flashbacks of a particular incident or a type of incident but in cptsd it's typically caused due to a series of incidents happening over a longer period of time which has affected the person <sighs> from the core you know what happened with me basically my okay i won't go back in there 13 years of my life uh physical sexual emotional abuse i was told my dad was dead by my mom she kidnapped me well according to the law if a mother takes a daughter or a child it's not kidnapping but i see it as kidnapping because if you tell me that my father is dead for so many years and it's anuk say you tell me that he's alive it's kidnapping lying treachery so oh my god my hand was visible for all this long <laughs> i wish i could have a stage seriously that's my dream that has always been my dream a happy life stage i love singing singing knowledge all this is you know my thing and ever since cptsd literally hit me basically i discovered lots of things in these 7 months that my anxiety actually started when i was much younger in approximately 2006 or 7 when i was in nursery uh it's another symptom of cptsd that you have a tendency of feeling breathless and uh, yawning it you don't want to yawn it just happens it's not that you're sleepy it just happens shakiness tremors that's what it is called and um should i given a trigger alert i think at the beginning oh my god my hand is visible once again this is happening because of this uh, my tremors are a bit uncontrollable today because my father isn't here he's gone for office and he has a full day today and practically alone at home with my two dogs she bella is playing on her own and i am busy recording otherwise we would have been together right now and uh people like us tend to become introverts or most people they tend to opt up for other means of finding solace which includes marijuana tobacco cigarettes drinking alcohol whatever you want to say all sorts of drugs and um addiction they tend to get into that and many of us we go into self harm self injury and suicidal thoughts suicidal tendencies it's not really gone away from me yet yeah i'm not dangerous don't worry i'm not going to harm you uh 
some of us we are just too good we don't harm others we feel like we find solace in just ending our lives feels like that some of you got worried seeing that one video of mine which i recorded on my terrace about me feeling so lost so so lost i know and i'm sorry for worrying you i didn't mean to worry you i just wanted to speak out vent it out i want to sound to hear and youtube has given me that option okay is it recording yet thank you you know at times my phone stops recording so i just have to check whether it's recording yet or not and we have a lot of trust issues and if you find someone who is an introvert who has trust issues and just don't bully them you know they might just end up in popping by popping i mean they might end up like literally bashing you up we have a lot of anger trapped in us anger sadness grief despair whatever you want to call it we have a lot of all that literally creating a nuclear fission inside us constantly dividing and wanting to come out but we know we can't because we live in a society where we follow certain rules ethics etiquettes and well wrong done to us cannot be done to others that's the reason we are still here that's the reason i'm still recording this that's the reason i'm going to upload it no matter what you say no matter how mad you think i am i am going to upload this and yes i'm going to tell you more about cptsd right now so okay i realized that my anxiety started a long time back and i had this habit of uh chewing on my cheeks from the inside with my teeth like this holding one part of my cheek like this and just trying to rip out skin from inside and i had this habit in kg and my mother as usual used to never care she never gave it to her and i got breathlessness then but when i told my mother that mama i'm having problems she didn't really you know bother she just said brush it off you're acting and she didn't believe me she didn't pay any attention and sorry for this movement i'm having tremors and i'm going to record this and post it i have decided on it today no more of you know stopping and it's time the world gets to know so okay um it subsided for the next few years but then i was having other problems like concentrating on studies she used to constantly pull me out and make me do her work and there was a lot of abuse involved obviously but you know i couldn't concentrate and then i shifted to my dad's place and i gave everything to my studies because i felt that you know my father's place was also unknown to me but it was like choosing between the devil and the deep blue sea well in both ways i felt scared but i knew that i had a chance if i went with my father so i did and i did get a chance i did um still recording right yeah it's still recording sorry happens at times you better get used to it because you're going to see me more often than before so and yeah i've been uh, uploading my asphalt gaming videos because i love you guys and i care for you i didn't want you to 
be disappointed that I subscribed to Gayatri's channel and I'm not getting anything. So I wanted you to have something. So part of me. That's the reason behind uploading those gaming videos. And whenever I won't be able to come out myself, I will upload something for you. I will definitely upload something for you. I will have something for you. I had scheduled it till September. So I will reschedule some of them and obviously put this video there so that you can see me. <laughs> I think we've been missing each other for quite some time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No shame in hiding what I have. No shame in hiding what I'm going through. I thought of using this title. I don't know how good it is, but I think it's quite appropriate. Jina Heya Jujna, living or surviving. So, okay, um, where were we? And yeah, then I gave everything for my 10th exams, class 10, and then my soul just gave in. That's the way I would probably put it. The, my soul just gave in. I had actually told myself before the class 10 exams that, guy three, this is it. You just have to do this much and then you'll finally get a relief, like a break sort of a thing because I had been working really hard, like I had been working my ass off for my exams and <laughs> my life was all topsy-turvy, no mother always having those outbursts and back then I didn't know that CPTSD exists or I didn't know much about PTSD, not much of awareness, anxiety attacks, I had them but I never understood what they were, I just thought those were flashbacks, just memories coming back and I didn't understand back then. Then class 11, the girl, sorry Bella, you have to wait a little, a little more baby, just a little more. Just a little more. Please forgive me. She wants me to play with her. <laughs> she is a cutie pie. Yeah, Buddy is there too, but he likes guarding the house when everyone is there. Like, my dad's outside. He's more of the protective type for me. <laughs> he lo they both love me a lot and I love them. They both are different and they both are such sweethearts. Look at my big part of my heart. And... So, the girl who scored lots in 10 is recording, yeah. Sorry for doing this all the time, but you know, without specs, I can't really understand whether it's recording and I can't even see how my face is looking. Ugly, devilish, I don't know. I'm just recording and I just need my voice to be heard. I just need that. So, um... So, um, the girl who scored 86% in class 10, she started failing in every subject, every test in class 11. That was too unbelievable since my tuition teachers all said that I was doing like, very well in my, oh my god, yeah, I think this thing is gone, broken or something. Wait, 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 let me tighten it. I'll just tighten it and I'll be back. Yeah, I'm back. I tightened it and hopefully it won't fall now or rather keep falling. So, okay, my counselor, she is a great lady. She is simply great and I'm not doing anything to promote her or something. I am saying this because I respect her. I love her. She is simply very beautiful. I love you, ma'am. Tumi na hole ami jani na ki hoto. Yes, but yaar bella na thaklo ami janta ami na ki hoto. But you changed my life. Thank you so much, ma'am. And I 
it's a problem that I don't remember names well. So ma'am, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you your name. I don't know your name yet. I have to check. Oh my god. It's embarrassing. I don't know your name yet. But you know. पहले हम कोड़े दी था मैं कोड़े तो I will put down her details below in the description box hopefully ma'am I hope अमी तुम्हाँ के तुम्हें हमारे जा दिए चो तर एक फोटा हो तो मैं फिर दी था पहला I really hope so and she has been seeing me for the past few months we she's beautiful i mean from here outer beauty goes away with age but this doesn't go so and just before class 12 boards i couldn't take it anymore <laughs> everything broke apart i had my first terrifying anxiety attack in maths exam. I scored a zero out of hundred. Yes, I'm proudly saying it now. And yes, my maths teacher insulted me. My school maths teacher insulted me in front of the entire class. Yes. She didn't care to ask Gayatri what has happened. What's wrong? She didn't ask me that. She simply insulted me in front of the entire class that too without a reason yeah happened QMS you made me suffer you know it's the duty of the teachers to make sure the students are getting everything every sort of knowledge yes you failed Maybe I failed to get the marks that were required to pass the test, but you failed in the eyes of an individual, and now you are failing in the eyes of the nation. My mother did a wrong. You weren't right. I kept sitting on my own. I was left alone for all those years. You didn't care. Yes, some teachers. I'll say, they were wonderful. They are, they were simply gems, jewels, whatever. That is maybe one in a hundred. That doesn't give you a chance to say I'm sorry. I was probably one of the most hardworking students in your class, in your school. You gave me no, no value. Disrespected me. I won't do a thing. Don't worry. I'm not one of those types who become a terrorist just because they've been done wrong. I don't become a terrorist like that. But you know what? Your actions show your personality. They make you. You're below it. Feel sad to say, but you're below it. And interestingly, the principal admitted that she didn't have good enough staff in front of my father because she had nothing to hide anymore. And yes, I am not asking for permission from anyone to say this on YouTube. Yes, my earlier video was removed by YouTube. But doesn't stop me from be voicing my opinion or thoughts. This forum is meant for me to be able to say what I want. What is true. And if you have a problem with that, just don't watch it. Alright? If you have a problem with that, don't watch this video. Fine. I'm sorry. I had an outburst right now. I have a lot of anger pent up in me. It comes out at times. That's why I wasn't making any videos. 
Oh my god, I gotta read my joke. Quote once again. Never reply when you're angry. Sorry, I'm not replying to anyone. I'm saying. I feel like Harley Quinn right now. Never make a promise when you're happy. Never make a decision when you're sad. I'm not sad. I'm in a ruthless mood right now. You know what? I'm gonna tear up all the secrets that you have, everyone has. And let's see. Who likes to feel naked in front of public? You do? I don't. Because I don't have anything to hide. Alright. Let's get on with it. CPTSD and PTSD. Make sure to know if you're suffering from it. Don't take your life without knowing. Yes. When we have CPTSD, our minds go out of control at times. We have flashbacks. We feel like we are daydreaming. We daydream about killing ourselves. Yes. I have dreamt of drinking poison. I have dreamt of killing myself, hanging from the ceiling fan, cutting my nerves, everything. I have dreamt all that while my eyes were open. And few days back, it became so real, it became so real, I was almost at the edge, about to do it. Yes. Please, the moment you understand you're having a problem, report it to a doctor. Go get yourself some help. It's not being called mad. You're not mad. No one is mad. It's a condition. It's a disorder. Maybe you're not at fault, but you don't need help. Please go to your nearest counselor, psychiatrist, whoever you trust most. Please share. Vent it out. You need help. Trust me. There are two parts of me. The Gayatri who helps the hurt Gayatri. Yes, the other guy three has a leash so that the one that is hurt doesn't do anything stupid or foolish. It's not wrong to take your life, but taking your life for nothing? You lived so long, went through all this for nothing? That's too much, isn't it? It's too big a cost. You would give away your life just because you're having a flashback. Don't do that. Give your life for something bigger. Give your life to settle another one's life. Give your life for the better of others. For the better of the world. Don't give your life for a tiny flashback. That flashback is gone. It's already gone. Yeah, it's torturing you, tormenting you. But you get stronger it won't torture you anymore so i am here your friend Gayatri Chatterjee and if you want to share with me i'm always open okay all right time for the next review <laughs> which is a vlog stay tuned bye bye